Time magazine called him the unsung hero behind the internet. CNN called him a father of the internet. President Bill Clinton called him one of the great minds of the information age. He has been voted history's greatest scientist of African descent. He is Philip M. Iguali. He's coming to Trinidad and Tobago to launch the 2008 Kwame Ture Lecture Series on Sunday, June 8th at the JFK Auditorium, Uwe St. Augustine, 5 p.m. The Emancipation Support Committee invites you to come and hear this inspirational mind adjust the theme, crossing new frontiers to conquer today's challenges. This lecture is one you cannot afford to miss. Admission is free, so be there on Sunday, June 8, 5 p.m. at the JFK Auditorium, UE St. Augustine. How are supercomputers used as an extreme scale computational physicist? I used massively parallel supercomputers to execute complicated calculations that would be impossible possible to execute on the conventional supercomputer. For me, Philip M. Aguale, the parallel supercomputer was my digital thermometer and an instrument that can be used to forecast the temperature rather than tell it. And depending on the grand challenge problem, the required calculations can be the most complicated ever executed. In 1989, I discovered new ways of using the massively parallel supercomputer to solve real-world problems. Fast forward into the June 20, 1990 issue of the Wall Street Journal that highlighted my discovery of parallel processing as the vital technology that will underpin all supercomputers. I discovered how to harness 64 binary thousand processors and harness them to forecast the quote-unquote weather at a depth of one mile below the surface of the Earth and across an oil field that is the size of a town. If you believe your weather forecast, then you have to believe that a system of coupled, non-linear, time-dependent, and three-dimensional partial differential equations, we are discretized and we are parallel processed across a few billion processors. The Philip M. Aguale formula that then U.S. President Bill Clinton praised during his White House speech of August 26, 2000 was in essence how to mathematically and computationally solve that grand challenge problem and how to solve it across the millions of processors that outlined and defined a supercomputer that is an internet de facto. The Philip M. Aguale formula is my contribution to the partial differential equation of calculus and physics. The Philip M. Aguale formula opened the new field of massively parallel processed extreme scaled computational fluid dynamics that in turn underpins the fields of weather forecasting petroleum reservoir simulation, and diverse sub-disciplines. What is the Philip M. Aguali supercomputer? For 30 years, I hardly gave lectures, and that absence promoted an air of mystery surrounding my contributions to the development of the parallel supercomputer. In the 1980s, I abandoned the sequential supercomputer and the vector supercomputer and abandoned both technologies for what is named parallel supercomputing. In my new paradigm of supercomputing, the total processor to processor email communications can dominate the total computations. In my new paradigm of supercomputing, the grand challenge problem is fractured into 64 binary thousand problems that in turn allowed a new parallel supercomputer to emerge from the bowels of my assemble 
of processors that defined my new internet that is called the Philip M. Aguali supercomputer. The discovery of parallel supercomputing created the hottest sub-disciplines in mathematics, physics, and computer science. That discovery of parallel supercomputing had rich and fertile consequences across the grand challenge problems of science and engineering. But back in 1943, Thomas Watson, the chairman of IBM, said, and I quote, I think there is a world market for maybe five computers. End of quote. Back in 1957, the editor in charge of business books for Prentice Hall said, and I quote, I have traveled the length and breadth of this country and talked with the best people. And I can assure you that data processing is a fact that will last out the year. End of quote. Back in the 1970s and 80s, I was mocked and dismissed from my research group. I was rejected because I pursued my research that led to my discovery that a parallel supercomputer will become the vital technology that will underpin every supercomputer. The parallel supercomputer is a tool that is used to accelerate innovation and do so because a scientific experiment such as general circulation modeling to foresee otherwise unforeseeable global warming that would have taken 30,000 years to complete on an, on an ordinary computer can now be parallel processed across an ensemble of millions of processors and take only one day to complete on a supercomputer. Parallel processing is a critical and, and enabling technology that shifted the paradigm in both computing and supercomputing and shifted our way of counting from counting only one thing at a time to counting a million things at once. Parallel processing is a new way of counting. Parallel processing is the cornerstone of drug design that accelerated the discovery of new chemotherapy drugs. New drugs that can kill cancer cells. A new understanding of how Alzheimer's or senile dementia destroys memory. The parallel supercomputer is a tool that makes it possible for a medical doctor to analyze and interpret scans and to detect different disorders and to provide better diagnostic information. Insightful and brilliant lecture.